Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video we're talking about the Orion 90mm Versigo E-Series uh, Altazimuth Refracting Telescope Kit. Now what I mean by a kit, first of all, is it comes with a scope, the tripod, and then these extra accessories. Uh, many times you have to buy a Barlow separately, but with the kit you get it included. So a 2x Barlow lens, a planisphere, the uh, um, star target planisphere to help identify constellations. Just dial in the date and time and you'll find uh, what's up in the sky for your time of night. And then on the side here, I've got the red beam flashlight. This will help illuminate the maps or whatever you're looking at, uh, finding the other eyepieces here in the dark without ruining your night vision. So having a red light flashlight is very handy uh, when you're out under the, a dark sky site. All right, so let's take a look at some of the features of the telescope. Uh, it's a 90 millimeter diameter telescope, uh, 600 millimeter focal length, that's f6.7, so a nice kind of medium focal length. Uh, 90 millimeters is a good size refractor for moon and planets, uh, as well as some brighter deep sky objects. And it's on a Versigo E-series mount, which is an alt as mount, which means it goes up, down, left and right. So a very simple system, no need to polar align. Just plop it down and start using the slow motion knobs to track objects in the sky. It comes with two eyepieces, a 25 and a 10 millimeter. So you've got up to 60 power out of the box. And you can always enhance that by adding on a Barlow lens or some other higher magnification eyepiece to zoom in even closer. It comes with a 45 degree diagonal here. Uh, so that gives you a correct image. Since this is an Altaz mount, it's going to work great for terrestrial viewing. Let's say you've got a um, room with a view, you're looking out over the bay or the, you got the distant mountain ranges out there. It pivots up, down, left and right, so it's great to track along the horizon. And a 45 degree angle will give you that correct image, upright, non-reversed image. Great for daytime viewing. It also works for some astronomy, uh, as you've got a good angle here, so when you're pointing the scope high in the sky, you don't have to crane your neck to get underneath to look straight up. So a uh, 45 degree angle can work for both astronomy and for daytime. It also features a finder scope on the side here. This is the, uh, uh, it's a reflex sight. So when you look through it, you keep both eyes open and through one eye looking through the window, you'll see a little red dot floating in the view. It's like a little heads up display uh, with a red dot. Just put the dot on the object that you wanna see and then it'll be in the field of view of the uh, 25 millimeter or, or the 10 if you've really closely aligned it. Um, so it makes finding objects in the sky very easy. So let's talk about the mount here. Uh, it's a very simple system. It just swivels left and right on this axis and then up and down on this axis here. And you tension it so you've got a decent amount of tension and then it'll stay put when you move it by hand. But then you can also use these slow motion knobs to fine tune the positioning. And I don't know if you can see it from there. Let me move it over this way and I'll rotate it downwards. You can see it slowly moving down as I rotate it. Well, that's great at high magnification when you're following a planet. As the Earth rotates, it's gonna slowly pivot out of the view. And at high power, any little motion that you do by hand, that planet zooms from one side of the view to the other. So having slow motion control in both axes really makes tracking a planet very easy. Uh, that also works for daytime viewing too. So when you're following a boat along the horizon on the, on the bay or the ocean, just twisting the uh, azimuth knob will allow you to follow the, the boat as it goes uh, from left to right. The tripod itself is nice and solid uh, metal. It's got a tray, an accessory tray in the middle so you can uh, seat your eyepieces into these holes. There's uh, one, two, three, four holes. And you can see here's the 10 millimeter. If you're using one of the eyepieces, drop the other one in there. And then you've got room for three more. Let's say you buy that Barlow later or some other eyepiece. You can store them there as you're using the scope. Right now I've got it raised up as high as it'll go so you can actually uh, well, I'm six foot tall. If I was looking straight in the sky, it might be a little awkward, but using it for terrestrial viewing, this would be perfect. I wouldn't have to bend over. I can just look into the telescope standing up. Uh, if you wanted to sit down and view uh, either the night sky or terrestrially, you can lower the tripod legs another probably about 16 inches, get this thing much lower, get a drummer stool or some other little patio uh, chair, and you'll have a very comfortable sit down view of the night sky. The scope itself, um, 90 millimeters can see all sorts of stuff in the night sky. So with the two included eyepieces, you've got up to 60 power. Uh, and at low power, looking at larger objects in the sky, you can actually see many of the deep sky objects. Uh, star clusters come in very well with a, an aperture like this. So the Pleiades, um, very good. Uh, Andromeda galaxy at low power is very nice. You'll see an oval structure, provided you can get away from some of the city lights uh, where there's no light pollution. That really helps to see those fainter objects. 
Orion Nebula would be visible with something like this, and a, and a host of other um, of the Messier objects, which are the brightest of the deep sky objects. Uh, lots of them are visible with a scope like this. And then in the solar system, rings of Saturn, no problem. Moons around Jupiter, you can see two cloud bands across the surface of Jupiter. Uh, at 60 power, you'll be able to see those. It'll be a little small. Uh, planets are always fairly small, but if you wanted to enhance it even more, uh, like I said, add on a Barlow or some other higher magnification eyepiece, and you can extend what the telescope can do. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion Versigo E-Series 90 millimeter refracting uh, altazimuth uh, telescope kit. Scope, accessories, everything you need to get started to view the night sky. Thank you very much. Clear skies.